I'm Phyllis Jackson. Welcome to Stay at Home Connect. When the new COVID-19 vaccine rolls out, who should roll up their sleeves first? The CDC says four groups should be prioritized for a COVID-19 vaccine once it's approved. Healthcare workers who operate on the front lines of the virus, essential workers, people with underlying conditions or diseases that place them at a higher risk for COVID-19, and those over the age of 65. Officials shared the information during a recent meeting of the CDC Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. CDC Director Robert Redfield clarifies details about the agency's new coronavirus testing guidelines, which says people without symptoms who are exposed to someone with the virus don't need to be tested. Redfield now says testing may be considered for asymptomatic contacts with those who are either confirmed or who could potentially have COVID-19, saying the new guidelines were meant to place, quote, an emphasis, end quote, on testing people with symptoms and other groups who may be vulnerable. The FDA issues the emergency use authorization for a new $5 COVID-19 test. Binax Now is a rapid antigen test it was designed to quickly detect active coronavirus infections so people can immediately self-quarantine. With lab-based tests, you get high sensitivity but might have to wait days or even longer to get the results. With this test, you get the results in 15 minutes. The Binax Now test, which is about the size of a credit card, also comes with a complimentary mobile app called Navica. It's for iPhone and Android devices and allows patients to reveal their test results if required by workplaces or schools. COVID-19 has caused us all to pivot, reimagine, and rethink the way we do just about everything. If you're planning to vote absentee this election year, the Secretary of State's office has created a new way for you to request an absentee ballot. There's a new online portal. Simply fill out the information to receive your ballot by going to ballotrequest.sos.ga.gov. That's ballotrequest.sos.ga.gov. Atlanta City Council member Andrea Boone hosts a community cleanup. The morning event kicked off at the C.T. Martin Recreation Center. Today we're here with over 120 volunteers to improve the quality of life in southwest Atlanta. This is our very first cleanup since the pandemic and we wanted to get out here and help the Public Works Department. The Public Works Department has been one of the departments hit the hardest by COVID-19. So we wanted to come out and pick up mattresses, tires, go up and down ML King Junior Drive, Boulder Park, Lyndhurst, over in the Adamsville community, and let our neighbors know that we are here to improve the quality of life. Many of our faith-based partners are here. Our MPU members are here. Our members of the city of Atlanta keep Atlanta beautiful. And we're just here to let everyone know that we are well and live, and we are here to keep our city clean. That's a wrap on Stay at Home Connect. Have a great night.